I've always been told to love myself. I try, but I can never understand. It's Hi, everybody. Oh, I nearly lost my balance. Hi, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm standing out here in my backyard, but today's video is all about how to pollinate your zucchinis or cucumbers if you feel that there's not enough bees to do so. Now, to grow a very good zucchini, the actual plant needs to be pollinated, unlike a tomato. So I'm always fearful living in the inner city that I'm not gonna have enough bees to, poll to pollinate my, my cucumbers or my zucchini. So what I naturally do first thing in the morning is cut the actual male stem. You can differentiate between the male and the female. The female is the actual fruit and the male flower is the flower with the long stem. So this video is all about how to hand pollinate um, your zucchinis or your cucumbers and on top of that I'm just going to give you a, an update on the state of my garden so if you're interested please keep watching. I'm just going to show you the state of my garden and possibly if I can from an aerial perspective you can see the zucchinis there and they're all in flower at the moment. pollination you can see that, that it's all in flower I've got carnations here but you can see the buds but the flowers haven't blossomed yet and of course let's not forget kangaroo kookaburra wombat platypus this is my um, begonias here. I had to put some rats at there because of rats and my um, Jasmine is flourishing. I've got some impatience here. That's another vine that's just blooming at the moment. Hydrangeas over there. And I've got down the bottom here, again, my rosemary bush. Just scanning along. There's my mint bush. Another lavender bush. And down here, these are my cucumbers. Okay, these are the beans here, and if I open up the actual um, beans, you can see that they're all in flower as well. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna also take an aerial shot. That's my scarecrow. Okay, here I am on the second level. And I'm just going to give you an aerial shot of the actual rooftop garden. You can see the solar light there. So I'm just going to cut back some of these leaves so I can get to the actual um, zucchini and what I'm going to do now so I need to cut back the leaves and this is where this is where the pollen is and of course in an area where you may not have many bees you need to pollinate the zucchini so then you can see this is a new zucchini okay oh shit Okay, so then you just open up the actual, oh damn it, hang on a second, I'm, I'm going to have to cut this leaf as well. So prickly, the pollen here, 
and this is the actual um, female so what I've got to do now is rub the pollen onto the actual head and this will ensure that the zucchini will grow because zucchinis cannot grow without being pollinated and usually bees will do the job but in this area I'm always fearful that there may not be enough bees so I cross pollinate by hand and I'll talk about that um, a little later on okay so I'm going to harvest the spinach again for the third or fourth time these leaves are just growing like wildfire I'm just going to continue to harvest these and then I'll show you at the end how much I've actually gathered just cut right down to the stem so this is the so this is the result of just one cut from three pots and I'll show you how I raise it down the actual spinach in another probably 10 days I'll be back again mowing down this wonderful organic spinach well the spinach is all cut I've washed and now I'm just letting it to dry and then of course I'm going to saute it in some extra virgin olive oil can't get anything better than organic spinach straight from the garden to the table so thank you again for watching I hope you enjoyed this video on how to pollinate some cucumbers or zucchinis in this case because my cucumbers haven't grown yet if you're new to my channel please don't forget to subscribe I'm off now I'll check you in my next video bye for now